Hello and welcome back Super Mums. In today's video I'm going to be discussing that mum and why we need to start owning being that mum. <laughs> As always, please make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing so we can reach more mums and help them embrace being that mum too. Oh, I've got to laugh at the phrase that mum. I spent, I probably only lasted about six months when my daughter was first born being that mum. I'm never even sure if that, putting it in quotations. It feels like it lessens the blow when you do that around something, being that mum. And I'd apologise if I was asking lots of questions, if I was asking lots of information, if I was trying to book my daughter into a class, like really ahead of time, if she was six months and she couldn't join until 12 months and I wanted to get on the list in advance. I live in an area where you have to do that. Nurseries are really popular, schools are really popular, all the classes are really popular, you have to get on wait lists. And I would apologise at the end of it. I'd be like, I'm so sorry, I'm that mum, I'm, I'm being that mum, I'm that mum. I would be the organised one going to something so we would be meeting in the park and I would be the one that happened to bring the picnic blanket and juice for everyone like and I'd apologise for it and I was like actually I'm helping the situation by being that mum but I see people asking this a lot on Facebook now I try and stay out of the Facebook groups as much as possible not the super mum one obviously because you guys are awesome but the other ones I find particularly the mum based ones can get quite negative but recently I've been looking for more tips on how to be green and more eco-friendly. So I've joined a few of those ones and people are constantly apologizing in those groups. So an example of this would be, I don't want to do party bags with any plastic in. How do I make sure the party bags are awesome without being that mum? I don't want my kid having sugar every time it's someone's birthday. How do I voice my opinion at my kid's school without being that mum? My kid's being picked on by another kid and came home with a bruise on their arm. How do I approach that parent or the school without being that mum? Why are we apologising for being that mum? Surely we're just being ourselves. Surely we are protecting the environment, reducing our kid's sugar intake, protecting our kid from physical abuse. We gotta take like a long hard look every time we say, oh sorry, I'm being that mum. The world really probably needs more of that mum. More people that are confident and happy to step up for what they believe in and what matters to them and what matters to their children. I genuinely believe if more of us step forward and wiped that mum phrase, out of our vocabulary, if we just stepped forward and said, I'm really sorry, but I don't like the idea of my kid having a massive piece of cake at the end of the day, just before tea time, because it's someone's birthday, is there a way we can bring out a new policy? Then there might be the other mum behind her that's going, oh, actually, I really have an issue with something else that's happening. I can now step forward and voice that issue. The more we step forward, the more everyone else is going to be able to step forward too. If you are the more confident person in a situation and you feel confident to step forward with your opinion and top, sort of captioning it with sorry for being that mum, then the shy, more reserved ones that are struggling more are going to feel more confident and able to step forward. That mum being that mum needs to be wiped from the vocabulary as much as winging it does because we all know my opinions on that phrase. We're not being that mum. We are voicing an opinion about something that matters to us. Matters enough for us to put our time and energy into it. We don't need to soften the blow by saying sorry for being that mum. Now I will probably continue to say that mum but I'm saying it less and as soon as it leaves my mouth I correct myself now. I have gone from saying sorry for being that mum and really meaning it to sorry for being that mum and kind of not meaning it at all to now correcting myself straight away so that person knows that I'm serious. I don't care if I'm that mum but I don't think I am being that mum. I think I'm just being mum. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood and remember being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.